but when we talk of infra uh, uh, the opportunities, uh, I would again like to sound the bankers that whatever lessons you have learned in the past infra sector, and thus whatever we have learned in the past, we must ensure that we don't commit the same mistake. We make sure that wherever we take the exposure in the large infra projects, it is available. Uh, I'm giving emphasis on clean equity, but these were the problems uh, which were there. Of liquidity into the banking system, uh, that RBI has been uh, uh, very, um, very much regulating it. Like whenever mm -hmm. there is some paucity of funds, becomes a hallmark, though we think that customer service has nothing to do with liquidity risk of banking, which they can provide. Uh, I think that is the only way in which we can do some kind of competitive banking because you cannot uh, uh, compete on pricing because of the uh, stiff uh, competition that we are having. Now, if suppose, for example, I say that the uh, single borrower exposure limit should not exceed 20% of your um, uh, tire one capital. And this time, RBI governor has made it very clear that the regulator will continue to give a lot of importance and we'll go on monitoring on an ongoing basis. That way, in that monetary policy statement, in one year, uh, stated about that. Definitely very, very important. With regard to the... Thank you, sir. And now, any questions or observations from the audience? They are also welcome. Yeah, yeah tell me. Uh, see, uh, about uh, four days ago, five days ago, this uh, Iraqi Central Bank, they were illegally uh, fueling uh, items to Iran because Iran is a sanctioned country. Yeah, yeah. Now, this, uh, now these, this embargo on these eight banks where dollar business is not allowed, and for us, Middle East is quite important. I mean, from the point of India's exports and imports, Middle East is quite important. Now, how will this impact us? That's all that I can say. Thank you, sir. Now, there is one more comfort with uh, which the uh, uh, foreign trade policy has given that it has given the export target for up to 2030. And that is why there is uh, so much emphasis on you know building risk cultures and focusing on your governance practices. So uh, I would like to understand from, from your uh, thoughts, sir. Thank you. And it has come out. You may remember that there was a meeting of the uh, uh, financial sector, BFSI meet, in which the governor himself addressed. He brought out the contagion risk that is being passed on by the NBFCs. He was talking about that, you know, banks take a direct risk. Relevance of a webinar is reflected in the quality of questions that is that are asked after that. It reflects the participation of the audience. And so it was very much there.